welcome to Diamond Victoria Glimmers. I'm glad that you stopped by. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so because your girl will greatly appreciate it. Now, you see the title of this video. I wanted to talk about this subject because I just see so much stuff going on. Marrying for love and why I feel like marrying for love, at least for me, is a bad idea. So I was gonna come to y'all with some wine. I was gonna do like a little evening video, but then I was like, you know, I'm gonna make this like a little coffee video. So if you got your coffee and you're chilling with me, I, I, I got my coffee to y'all, maybe a little vanilla latte. It is so delicious. And we're gonna jump right into the topic. Why getting married for love will send you down divorce lane. Yeah. I'm a very passionate person, you guys. Like I'm a very passionate person. I love love like I am the definition of a hopeless romantic and I'm sure some of you watching this are also hopeless romantics um, and I feel like sometimes I mean it's a good thing but then sometimes being a hopeless romantic being someone that loves love can be a bad thing too because a lot of times it can kind of skew your perspective right it can kind of make you feel like sometimes you're doing the right thing because it's out of love, but sometimes it's not the right thing. And one of those things, I feel like a lot of hopeless romantics, not even just hopeless romantics, but people in general, really, um, do is marry for love because they love someone. And yes, love, I feel like should be a part of it, but it should not be the main reason for you loving someone. And my opinion, okay, this is just my opinion, I feel the main reason to marry someone is compatibility. And I say it time and time again, compatibility, compatibility, compatibility. If you are not compatible with someone, you have no business marrying that person. Why? Because it's not gonna work. You're not gonna want the same things. And eventually, love, yeah, it'll, it'll keep it going for a few years maybe, but when the real stuff starts coming up, the real topics, of conversations start coming up it's not going to be enough love is never going to be enough to keep a marriage going love is not going to be enough to get you through the really hard times that you will inevitably face in your marriage so for me the idea of marrying for love is just not it now do i want to love my future husband yeah i do of course i want that to be a part of my marriage but I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory. So, I'm gonna give y'all a little example. I'm not gonna go into this whole story time. So I, I'm like, I ain't gonna go into no whole story time, y'all. But I was once with someone and I loved them very, very much. I loved them greatly. But when the conversations of possibly getting married, like even just him bringing it up, it would always make me have doubts. Not because I didn't love him, but because I felt that love was not gonna be enough for us. I wanted it to be enough. But when it came to what I want in my life, he didn't want the same things, right? When it came to what I saw as a part of my future, he had a completely different picture for what he wanted in his future, right? Our futures, or what we wanted for our future, what we wanted for our lives, did not align at all. We were incompatible. And incompatibility can look like a lot of different things, right? It can look like you want children, they don't. And we've seen a lot of situations like where people have gotten married where one person in the marriage wants children, the other person doesn't. And then the other person thinks they're gonna convince the person that they don't want children to want children, right? They think they're gonna be that, their love is gonna be enough to change their mind. And nine times out of 10, it's not. Or maybe sometimes that person does change their mind out of love, right? But then later on, they start to resent the other person in the marriage and then the marriage breaks down, right? Because love was not enough. And if you really love someone, it's supposed to be selfless. It's not supposed to be selfish. And you trying to make or trying to force something that really isn't meant to be and trying to have someone conform to what you want to make them compatible for you, that's not even love to me, right? But I say all that to say, compatibility is always for me gonna be the thing that I look for 
before I get married. Um, and like I said, that could look like several different things. Does that person want children? Because I want children. Does that person have a relationship with God? Because I have a relationship with God. Does that person want to live a traditional life? Because I want to live a traditional life, such as you know, buying a house someday, or does that person want to live in an RV and, and travel across country their whole life? Like, you have to be compatible. If you're not compatible, no matter how much you love someone, it's just never going to work. It's just not going to happen, right? I see so many marriages ending, so many relationships even ending. And it's a lot of times comes down to incompatibility. It comes down to you're not being able to get eye to eye with that person that you're with because you just want different things. And a lot of times, because we love someone, we think that is gonna be enough to make them wanna change to our benefit. But that just breeds resentment. That just breeds, it ain't gonna work, <laughs> in my opinion, right? All right, I'm gonna get even deeper with y'all. Is love enough for you? And I want y'all to comment below. Is love enough for you to ignore that you don't trust somebody? Because for me, I can love someone, but not trust that person, right? So if you enter into a marriage and you love that person, but you don't trust that person, do you think that it can work out? comment below for me the answer is hell no okay the answer is h to the naw okay because you can love that person right but if you don't have that trust between each other how is the marriage going to be sustained and i feel like that also is playing a part and why a lot of marriages are failing because people are still getting married because they love each other. And they may really do love each other, but they don't trust each other. They're not compatible. They are nowhere near the same page, yet they go through with it anyway. And then later on, end up divorcing over things they saw in the very beginning. Like, And that's what's funny to me, y'all, is I feel like not even just marriages, but a lot of relationships in, um, like you see couples breaking up after like three, four, five years together. And I can speak from experience. Like my longest relationship ended based off of something that I saw from the very beginning. Like a red flag I saw within three months of us dating is what ended up in ending our relationship like three years later. Um, and it's funny how that works. But once again, you thinking that you can love that person through whatever it is. And it's just not enough. Like everyone is going to have their flaws. Everyone is going to have their own set of issues, their own set of problems. But you really have to think and dig deeper. Like in the future, is this going to be something that I can handle? Is this going to be something I'm okay with? And if the answer is not really maybe I can maybe I can try then you probably really should be with that person so it all ties back to what I was saying love is not enough for me to marry somebody I need trust I need compatibility and then love I'm gonna wrap this video up y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Join the Diamond Victoria Glimmers fam. I want you over here. I want you over here. I got some more videos dropping. The next video I'm dropping, and I might go ahead and record it right now because I got some little extra time before um, I have to do something I gotta do. But um, next video is gonna be what I learned from my relationship failures in 2021 because I learned a lot and I feel like I need to share some of this some of this wisdom y'all some someone is gonna it may only be five views on this video it could be five thousand you, you never know anything is possible but somebody needs to hear this 
So I'm gonna start pumping out these videos for y'all and make sure you catch the vlogs too. Y'all, I'm a little bit slow putting out the vlogs, but I promise the vlogs are coming. The vlogs are fire. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Talk to y'all soon.